Hey guys, it's Jessica from Crypton and Stampin' Up! Blogspot.com and I just got my Evolution Advance. It's so cute and I love the color. Um, it goes perfect with purple, which are like my colors, um, the purple and pink. So um, I wanted to show you, I just unboxed it all. It was in a gigantic box for what reason I'm really not sure. HSN didn't really need to pack it like that, but whatever. Um, so inside the box I got this was part of the deal, the bundle. It gave me the letterpress. Um, and it looks like there's a ton of stuff in there, which I'm not going to just mess with just yet. Okay. Um, I also got the quick stick that came with it as well. Okay. And it gave me two embossing folders, and it's just called Butterfly. Uh, I've been looking everywhere for another name, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, just called Butterfly. And then I got um, the Genius Platform, which is metallics that we have to hold my dies in place, which I got specifically for my Jada Blossom dies. Um, and then inside the box was my Evolution Advance, and then three cutting mat things. It's like a platform, a piece of foam, and then it just says Mat B. Um, up at the top there. Hopefully you can see that. And then also a sample of dies, which are pretty cool. Very excited about that. And then instructions, of course. And my coupon for my free custom printing plate, which I don't want to show the coupon code because I don't want anybody to take it on me. Not saying anybody would, but you never know. So anyway, so it also told me that inside the advanced, all I had to do was open it up and inside the one base, one side of the base is going to be my, my handle. So let's go ahead and open it. And as you push down, it locks. It's, oh my God, I'm shaking my camera. It's not going anywhere. And right here is my handle. And all you have to do is slide it on and push it in and then push it up to lock it and it's on. Super easy. Um, so I want to go right ahead and I want to get started and I want to show you how to use the close to my heart embossing folder. So I'm doing this, oops, live with you guys. I actually just ran into my craft room and grabbed out um, just some scrap paper. So I'm just going to actually cut it really quickly. And according to the instructions, all I had to do was use Matt B. So we're going to test it out and see what happens. But I'm not entirely sure which dial to put it on. All I know is that I have to turn it to emboss and you just push it in and change it. So I'm going to try it on the very first one, the very first dial, which let's see if I can do this. See how I turned the knob to the very first emboss one? I hope I did at least. Let's see. Yep, it's on the very first emboss. See, oh gosh, stop. There it goes. See right there? Oops, right there. So let's go ahead and get it back down. And let's take our mat B, which is this one, and then I guess the platform. And let's go ahead and stick this in and put the paper inside my embossing folder. And what I love about the Close to My Heart ones are, if I would have cut this the right way, it would have just been able to slide right out of the top. But let's see what happens. So what did I do with the mat already? Did I move from that? Oh. I think I just place it over it, did it say? Let's see. Yep, cover with mat B. I'm actually going to do it this way if you guys don't mind. So... Let's go on and see what happens. It's not making any noise, which is pretty good. I just hope that means that I did it right. Okay. Oh my god, I embossed it perfectly. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Hey, hold on, let's put this down. Look at that. You can definitely see, oh my gosh, even though I'm totally out of focus. Look at that. That's perfect. And that was right on the first knob. Um, let's try out a die, shall we? Let's see what happens if we cut out some dies with it. 
Now the other, besides close to my heart being my absolute love, you all know my second love is Jaded Blossom. So let's get a dye and let's test it out. So I'm just going to use, ow, the ticket book dye. And for the dies on the instruction, it says, place your die cut with the cutting side up on the platform. So let's move. Oh, let's, you know what? Let's open up the Genius platform for this so it stays in place. Oh, oh my gosh, I got another set of dies in here. <gasps> Very cool. We are memory keepers. Thanks for that little surprise. Very neat. And I got... Oh. <laughs> whole new set of dies in here. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm guessing Matt A. There's no instructions, so I'm kind of just guessing. Matt B. I guess. Let's see. What did I do with the die? Okay, so. Okay, so place it and cover with mat B. Okay. Oh yeah, and there's definitely a magnetic pull to it. That's awesome. Okay, so put mat B and let's turn our little knob down to die cut. I think I'm gonna try the second one up. Okay, so let's see what happens, shall we? Once again, not making any noise. It's not hard to turn at all. That's where it's just got a little tough to turn, so I must have just gone through the die. Or gone into the die, I guess. Let's see, hopefully I didn't just wrap this up. Okay. <gasps> Cut out. Almost perfect. I think maybe what I need to do is just up it a little bit. Is this way out of focus? It is way out of focus. Okay, so let's try again. Let's try again. Now that was at the very, that was at number two. Let's try number three. And let's see what happens. I definitely felt it get to the die. And let's see. Mm. Hmm. Not really going through. Actually made it a little worse this time. I wonder if it's because I'm putting it too far down. So let's try another piece of paper. See what happens here. Try again. I'll put it in the middle this time. Maybe because I had it too close to the bottom. Unless maybe I'm supposed to put that other mat on top. Which I don't really know. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to. I don't know what that I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just gonna try again. And I'll just go up to the fourth one. I'll go through. Just felt it. I tried the die and I felt it go through. Hmm. Well, I did it again. Didn't go all the way through. I'm not entirely sure why. Hmm. All right, so maybe we try. Let's see. Let's try. Oops, I'm supposed to put the die facing up. I wonder if it makes a difference if I have which mat showing. I can see it going through onto this mat. So let's just stick with this side. And I'll try that A piece. I don't know if it's supposed to go in. 
don't think so. Maybe I was supposed to go, oh, maybe I'm supposed to go all the way down for thin. Okay. I think that's what I was supposed to do. I think I was going the wrong way. Wow, that's definitely tight. Let's see what happened now. And that'll do it. That's the winner. So for the Jaded Blossom dies, you have to be all the way on the bottom, which is way cool. And it did kind of jack up my mat a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to be a trial and error type thing. But how neat is that? I'm loving this. Perfectly clean. I can see the embossing it did on it on the sides, the stitching. Very, very cool. I'm utterly impressed. Um, it just needed to have my little, uh, um, I guess my little bit of expert, non-expertise there but so that's my system so far I'll come back later on and I'll try out some other dies um, which uh, the we are memory keepers dies I'll try uh, but as for now the two things that I use the most are my close to my heart embossing folders which needed to be on the very first emboss one and the jaded blossom dies which need to be on the very first die cut one all the way down so yeah, that's it. That's my little review. I'm pretty impressed. I'm going to play a little more and then I'll come back and do another video maybe later on. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch you crafting and stamping. Bye!